Welcome back to Malanze Productions. So today, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through all of the classes of Vanilla World of Warcraft, and I'm going to give you a pros and cons to playing each uh, class if you were to do it as a hardcore playthrough, or in other words, an Iron Man playthrough. Now, this list can be used as a, like, just in general so you can use it for reference for uh classic for retail or for other private servers but this is mostly gonna be for turtle wow now turtle wow the private server does have some class changes i'm gonna leave most of it out for the purposes of keeping this in in general sense um plus that way it can uh, reach a wider range of servers rather than just one because if I was to talk about just one you know other servers have different talents different spells so it wouldn't really make much sense to do it for just one server now my glasses are so freaking sideways right now what the hell <laughs> so um, I'm gonna go through there and I'm gonna tell you the pros and cons to each class now this is not to say one class is the one class you should play. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying you should play this one. You should not play this one. You can play whatever class you want. Any class can get to level 60 on Iron Man. If you're skilled enough. If you know the class inside and out. If you're careful enough. You can, you can know all of that and still die. It really... It's really up to you. It doesn't matter in the end. This is just giving you an idea of what you would want to uh play like um let's say you cannot decide between two classes this pros and cons list might help you make that decision for yourself i'm not telling you what you should play now as a treat at the end of this video i'm going to show you a graph that i made or a chart rather of every level 60 that has um every level 60 on turtle wow for hardcore mode i'm gonna give you a chart of every of how many of each class made it to level 60 to kind of give you an idea of uh what classes people seem to go for when making this choice and actually succeed first we're going to start with the uh druid so the druid the pros behind playing a druid for an Iron Man run or a hardcore run, it really doesn't matter. I'm going to use those words interchangeably. But, um, one is that they're very good healers. You can heal yourself to the point that until you run out of mana, you're pretty much impossible to kill. Um, you can stealth as a cat. Bear tank can take a lot of damage, so it's, you're going to be a little bit harder to kill. Uh, you can, there are some crowd control and, uh, there are some crowd controls that you can use, such as hibernate. You can, uh, root an enemy, so you can root them, and then if you're balanced, you can hit them from afar. Or if you could root them, run a bit of a distance, heal yourself, and then get back into the fight. Um, you obviously have buffs, so you can buff yourself. Now, uh, something I'm gonna do with druid only and not with the other classes is... I'm going to give you a quick overview of the e of each spec because each spec is completely different. Uh, cat druids can do decent DPS, but they have little to no health. So they're, they're a bit of a glass cannon. Um, owls are very squishy and have a very ba bad mana use. They, they can do some decent damage, but they run out of mana really quick. Uh, and, and plus they're squishy, so you don't want to be you don't want to be you're basically a mage you don't want to be in melee the whole time uh healing obviously has no dps and you're squishy as hell but you have a very high mana uh you have a very high mana count so that that's good for that <clears throat> and you have a very high healing too um now if you're bear you have very good hp but you will not have a lot of uh dps so that's uh something you're gonna have to um, um, think about uh, you won't you won't be able to die as easy but you're not going to be able to get your kills off as easy and that's pretty much the cons of the druid is overall bad mana use as an overall sense bad mana use and very low dps 
but they have high survivability and um, you have some crowd control, you have uh, utility basically. Now next we're going to talk about Shaman. So Shaman, um, uh, you have very good healing as a Shaman and you can interchangeably use ranged and melee. However, a couple of cons are that um, some, depending on what you go for in your build and such, you your DPS might not be as high. Another thing is uh, reincarnation has gone to shit. You can't use reincarnate. When you die, you die. So that's something you won't be able to use at all. Uh, you do have some utility such as Ghost Wolf though, so that's also a plus. Uh, Overall, they're just kind of an average class to use. Uh, now for Hunter. Hunter has a lot of utility, and they have uh, pets. So uh, a utility such as you have Aspect of the Cheetah, you can feign death to get out of uh, a situation, so that's kind of like an oh shit button. Uh, you have pets for pet tanking, and obviously, uh, mobility and kiting. Now, the cons for Hunter. Now, for most servers, you're going to have a dead zone. Which means for... for um, Between your melee and your ranged, you're going to have a good, like, 5 to 10 feet. Where you cannot melee or use range because they're too close or too far. So, there's a whole dead zone there that makes uh, kiting almost impossible at low levels until you get something that you can keep your enemy at a distance for. Um, that's also if you're on a PvP server or engage in PvP for any reason, mages will absolutely destroy you. If they frost nova you, they'll get in your dead zone and there's nothing you can do about it. Uh, another con to the hunter is that your pet is at level 10. So until you get to level 10, it is very hard to level a hunter. Once you get a pet, it becomes consider considerably uh, easier. So that's something you have to consider, is can you get to level 10 without dying without a pet to assist you? Once you can get there, it becomes a lot easier. Uh, another con is that hunters are absolutely useless if they get disarmed. So if you run into an NPC that can disarm you, uh, you're, you're pretty much toast unless your pet is an absolute god at tanking. Now, next on the list, we're going to talk about the uh, Warlock. So, the Warlock has pet variety. So, you, um, unlike the Hunter, where you have to constantly feed your pet, you can only really have a couple of pets, and plus only one at a time. Uh, Warlocks can interchange their pet, granted that they manage to do the quest to attain it. You can have a DPS pet, you can have a tanking pet, you can have a crowd control pet. So, that's something that, uh, helps them a lot. They can make their own health potions, which is basically your health stones. Uh, you can dot up enemies, so you could do considerably more DPS over time. Um, and you have uh, succubus crop control, so that can help you greatly as well. Now, the cons to being a warlock are they're very squishy. If your void walker takes a shit and something gets on you and you're not able to kite them for any reason, which kiting as a warlock is very hard considering you have to stay still in order to use your abilities, then you, there's nothing you can do. And they have um, absolutely no escape mobility unless you can manage to pull something off if you have sticky glue or something to hold off the enemy long enough for you to run away. Now for the warrior, warriors um, have more cons than pros, but it is possible to do it. Now, uh, for the warrior, they're very tanky. In some cases, they have very good DPS, and they can provide their own buffs. Now, the cons is that in other cases, you might have very low DPS. It all depends on your level and on your gear, and of course, your build. Um, they have little to no mobility. Now, while you can run and fight at the same time, they are very slow and sluggish. You have no um, traveling abilities, such as, you know, Aspect of the Cheetah, Blink, anything that would increase your speed, even by a short while rather than permanent, you do not have. So, I would suggest um, 
getting uh, going into alchemy alchemy could give you potions for healing because another con is that warriors cannot provide their own healing and you can uh, make swiftest uh, potions to make yourself faster it would help you to get away faster as well if you need to escape for any reason uh, another con to the warrior is just like the hunter if you are disarmed you're dead you, if you find an enemy that can disarm you you're dead and unlike the hunter you have no pet to help you Now, the priests, on the other hand, they have very good healing. They can bubble themselves to help prevent any damage from getting through. They have debuffs and buffs for themselves and debuffs for the enemy, of course. And they can also dot the enemies. Now, the cons to being a priest is their DPS is very low. Very low, unless you go shadow and even then it's very low. They're very squishy, so if you're, um, if somebody takes out your shield your your bubble before you're able to cast it again you're pretty much done and um they have very poor mana use in some cases now mages they have um frost spells which are very powerful anyone knows mages aoe uh grind all the time because they freeze the enemy in place and use aoe now that's if you can get there and use those spells. They have some defensive spells, mainly for um, opposing enemies using uh, other magic. They have uh, magic bubbles to prevent uh, magic damage from getting into them. They don't really have a lot of uh, physical protection. Uh, they can have unlimited food and water by crafting it themselves. They have teleports, obviously, for quicker mobility. They have blink to get out of situations faster. I, um... Ice block or, or, or what's it called uh, ice tube. I forgot the I forgot the ability. Somebody knows the ability, but you know you can cut cut yourself on ice and blink out of there for an oh shit situation. They also have crowd control with sheep, so they have a lot of um, utility that makes them very useful. The um, the cons to using a mage is that they're very squishy. So if um, if something happens or if you are unable to keep your enemy at bay using a frost nova or a slow of some sort uh you will be taking a lot of damage and your shields will not uh cover every type of damage coming in at you another con is that if your frost nova misses you're pretty much done unless you can get away with a blink up next is the rogue now, rogues are able to um, vanish, so that's a good oh shit situation. Their combat spec has very decent steady damage rather than burst damage, so that's very helpful for um, faster kills in my opinion, especially um, assassination. By the time you build up your uh, hit points, the enemy is either already dead or it's overkill or something so assassination is not really the best to go for and stealth does little to no damage you want to go combat that I, I am recommending that you can really do whatever you want i'm not telling you to do something but combat is pretty much the the uh, pro to playing a rogue on an iron man um they obviously have stealth and they have uh, some crown control now the crowd control in vanilla is dangerous to use and that's gonna be uh one of their cons is in order to enact the um the uh sap it will take you out of stealth and it's a possibility that it could fail or miss so it is very dangerous to use another thing is that rogues cannot heal themselves so you're not gonna have uh, a lot of healing you're gonna want to go into first aid and alchemy in order to heal yourself if you want to go that route and just like the warrior and the hunter if you are disarmed you are dead And last but not least, we have Paladins. Paladins, for pros, they can obviously bubble hearth for an oh shit situation. They have self-healing, they have buffs to buff themselves, and their auto attack is very powerful. Um, that also leads to a con, because they have very slow or little to no abilities, you're going to be auto attacking a lot, so you're going to have very slow DPS while it is... Um, 
while it is manageable to fight someone with just auto attack, it's going to be very slow. And one of the cons that I've heard from people who played Paladins on Iron Man is that it is very boring. But if you enjoy playing the Paladin as a Paladin player or someone who just enjoys them in general, I don't think that will be an issue for you because you know what to expect. Um, one Another con that they have is they have uh, very little to no ranged abilities. Um, they can use some minor range abilities, but they're not as, um, they're not as effective as such a, uh, rogue's throw ability. Uh, warriors, warriors can use guns and, uh, bows, obviously, for ranged. They don't have their own throw ability until later on, uh, and everyone else in the list has, obviously, ranged. Uh, paladins are one of the, uh, only classes, I believe, that Actually, they are the only class that do not have a long-range ability. They have some range, but not as high as the other ones. And now for uh, the chart that I promised you. So I'm going to show you right here. This is the chart that I drew up. So I counted every single class of, ev of everyone who has managed to get to level 60 on the private server Turtle Wow. As you can see, only 9 druids have reached level 60. 9 shamans, 40 hunters, which tell you something, 12 warlocks, 20 warriors, 9 priests, 19 mages, 20 rogues, and 18 paladins. Now that's just to give you an idea of how many people have managed to succeed using the various classes. You don't have to use it if you don't want to. I thought it was just interesting to show you what classes people seem to choose more than others and uh, who have succeeded over the others because that's only like 120 people versus the hundreds who have come and failed, whether they died at level 1 or died at level 59. F in chat, please respects. So I hope you found this video um, informative and useful to making your own decisions on what class you want to play for an Iron Man run or a hardcore run in whatever server you are playing on World of Warcraft with. And if you would like to see more of this type of content, whether it's any type of video game, World of Warcraft private server related, live streaming, cosplay, just anything related to geekdom, this is a home for geeks, and I welcome you to subscribe and follow me for more. Thank you for watching.